Mr. Nelson came in this morning with his 2009 Ford Explorer 4 liter that has a brake noise. And while we have his Explorer here, we'll do an oil change service on it. We bring up his account by typing the first few letters in his last name. And we haven't seen his Explorer before, so when we add his vehicle, Max Tracks asks for the license plate. And here is his vehicle. Enter in the approximate mileage, and this is how we start Mr. Nelson's repair order. Max Tracks uses the CCC format, Complaint, Cause, and Correction. We begin with the complaint or reason that the customer is here, and these are organized into vehicle problems or requests. Mr. Nelson's concern was brake noise, a vehicle problem. Choose the brake category, and we've pre-written lead-in text to help limit the typing required to start and a place to capture the details of the problem. Select from the Request for Service in the Maintenance category, and we select the oil change, and Mr. Nelson also requests we use full synthetic oil, and click Finish. We've now begun the RO, so the next step in creating an RO is to add labor to address the vehicle problems and request. We click on the Labor button to bring up a list of all your pre-made labor descriptions that you've created. This list of labors that you've created gives you the chance to show your customer the extra value you provide and you can reuse them over and over again, saving time. So from our labor list, we select BI for brake inspection. And for the oil change, we'll go directly to kits. The kit has the labor with the oil and the filter. In MaxTrax, kits are easy to use, easy to create, and save lots of time and effort. We assign a tech to the work, And now we're ready to print an estimate copy for Mr. Nelson and a technician worksheet for Brett. Once Brett has had a chance to inspect the brakes on the Explorer, he's found Mr. Nelson needs front brakes and rotors. Now we're going to prepare an estimate for the brake job by adding a front brake job labor service from our labor list, code BFR, and to this, we're going to add parts by going out to our CarQuest online catalog to look up price and availability for our brake pads and rotors. We will import these items with cost, and our selling price is set by our part price matrix. In MaxTracks, you can have as many part price matrices as you want. We can have one for dealer parts, and one for aftermarket parts, like in this example. This keeps your pricing consistent and saves you time. Now we're ready to call Mr. Nelson with an estimate for the brake job. Upon Mr. Nelson's approval, We'll order the parts and do the work. So now we're going to save the RO to get Brett started on the job. And here's our prompt to create the parts order and order those parts online from CarQuest. Click Send Order and the parts are on their way. Brett receives his parts from CarQuest, completes the job, and then we call Mr. Nelson. When Mr. Nelson arrives, he pays with a visa today. And here is Mr. Nelson's finished invoice. Now this invoice is stored in Mr. Nelson's customer history for easy reference and retrieval and our sales totals, including Mr. Nelson's repair order, are tracked in MaxTrax.